for the 40th problem on the second ACT practice test, tickets for the senior talent show at George Washington Carver High School are $3 for adults and $2 for students. To cover expenses, a total of $600 must be collected from ticket sales for the show. One of the following graphs in the standard XY coordinate plane, where X is the number of adult tickets sold and Y is the number of student tickets sold, represents all the possible combinations of ticket sales that cover at least $600 in expenses. Which graph is it? Now, with this problem, we're essentially going to have this graph where we have a line, and anything underneath the line would not be enough money to meet all of the $600 in expenses, though anything above the line would be more than enough. So the line is kind of the boundary on what's possible. And to figure out which of these lines is the correct one, and there's another one down here, probably the easiest way to approach this is to figure out what the endpoints of that line would be. Or in other words, to figure out where our line is going to intercept the x and y axes. So we have to consider the extreme cases. Now if you notice the intersection for the y axes, that's when there are zero adult tickets sold. So let's consider the case where we have zero adults. So this is the case where only students are buying tickets. And tickets are two dollars for students and $600 must be spent. And if you divide $600 by $2, what you end up with is 300 tickets. So when zero adults buy tickets, 300 students will buy tickets so that the expenses are met. So that's one of the extremes. We know that at least on the y-axis that this graph should be intersecting right about here at 300. So let's now consider the case where zero students buy tickets, so only adults are buying tickets. And in this case, we still have to meet this $600 goal, essentially. But now the tickets are $3 for adults. So we'll divide this by $3. And 600 divided by 3 is just 200. So if no students bought tickets, then 200 adults would have to buy tickets so that the $600 in expenses are met. So essentially, we're looking at one of these graphs where the y-intercept is at 300, so that's when zero adults buy tickets, and the x-intercept is when zero students buy tickets, and we know that that would be 200 tickets. And looking at our graphs, we can see that this one down here has a y-intercept of 300. So when zero adults buy tickets, 300 students have to buy tickets. And when zero students buy tickets, you can see the x-intercept is this value of 200, which we know when zero students buy tickets that 200 adults have to buy tickets. So this choice letter H here would be the correct graph and our final answer.